what's going on? Back at it with the the ace attorney, Phoenix Wright. So, episode one, we saved our lifelong friend Larry Butts from being accused of the murder of his girlfriend who, need we forget, was into sugar daddies. The real murderer was Mr. Sawit. And I... I would like to formally say I did not catch that joke throughout the entire video. Mr. Sawit. He saw it. Okay. Alright, Turnabout Sisters. Episode 2. Yes, load. Back with these voices. Let's get it. Beep. Hello? Is this... Wait. Hello? This is Maya. Hey, Maya. It's me. Mia! What's up? You haven't called in a while. Sorry. I've been so busy. How have you been? Well, lonely. And it's all your fault. Nah, I'm just teasing. I've been great. I'm finally getting used to having my own place. That's good. That's good. Whoa, I got it deep there for a second. That's good. I did it again, dude. That's good. To hear. Me, dude. Actually, I'm calling because I have a favor to ask. I know, I know. You want me to hold evidence for you. Sharp as always. There's a lot of buzz about the upcoming trial. I just don't feel safe keeping the evidence here. I got you. So, what is it this time? It's a clock. A clock? Yeah, er, yeah. It's made to look like that statue of the Thinker, and it tells you the time. I thought you might like it. You always liked toys. Hey, I'm not a little girl anymore, sis. Now, now, I'm only teasing you. Huh, I should probably tell you the clock isn't talking right now. Huh? It's not working? That's lame. I had to take the clockwork out, sorry. I put some papers inside instead. Papers? Is that the evidence then? Hmm. Well, there's a possibility that it might turn out that way, yes. Can you come by the office tonight, say, 9, to pick it up? I'll be in a pre-trial meeting until then. Okay, sis, but I expect dinner. It's something good. Like, burgers. I want burgers, dude, honestly. Same, I could go for a burger right now, too. Okay, okay. We'll hit the usual joint. Alright, it's a deal. Okay, sis. See you soon. Yep, I'll be waiting, Maya. What was that all about? What was that? I don't like Mia anymore. September? Okay, this ha- okay. This phone call is like a month after the first trial. Okay, okay. Because the first trial happened in August, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Damn. Fay and Company Law Offices. September. What was the time? I didn't catch that. I don't know whose voice this is. Now, Miss Fay, I'll take what's mine. The papers. I'm sorry, but I can't give you what I don't have. Miss Fay, you are a poor liar. Why, I see it right over there. That must be the thinker that swallowed those papers. How could you know? Ha oh, oh, ha, you are not... What is that word? Cognifurious? Cognif... Cognif... Of my background. Gathering information is my business, you see. I... I should have been more careful. Oh, oh. My dear Miss Fay, I'm so very sorry. But I am afraid I must ask you for one more thing. Your eternal silence. Farewell, Miss Fay. Red, white, blue. What the f- 
What is this game? I thought this game was just jokes. Larry Butts, you know what I'm saying? Hold on. What's the court record? Am I on my own now? Uh oh, I'm late. Huh, that's strange. Guess the chief left left without me? She said her sister was coming over, so we should all go out for dinner. What's that smell? Blood? Mia! Maybe she's in her office. <laughs> examine? Oh, examine her office. Shit, let's let her examine. The door? Shit. I smell blood, and that can't be good. I have to check and see if Mia's... The chief's okay. Hold on, wait. Okay, I, I get it, dude, I get it, okay. This is a little complicated. That smell. Blood. Crying. S sis. Someone's there. Bro. Chief. Chief. Chief! Are you Maya? Who are you? What the f- a Strange girl dropped out cold. I left her lying on the office sofa. Went back to the chief where she lay under the window. Her body was still warm. So the... Okay, don't infer anything just yet. I could still feel it when I held her shoulder. Then, all too quickly, it began to fade. Until finally she was cold. Jesus Christ, bro. This game took a dark turn real quick. Hold on, I need- I'm invested. Let's get it. Examine that shit. Examine the chief. Chief. It's hard seeing her like this. If there are any clues here, she was struck on the head with a blunt object. She probably died instantly. The thinker lying next to her must have been the murder weapon. Looks like a statue protection clock made by Larry Butts. God damn it, he's about to be in court again. There's some glass shards near the chief's body. There must be pieces of the glass light stand lying broken in the back of the room. Broken remains of the glass light stand, broken beyond all recognition. Nothing else that seems like a clue here. Yeah, that I, I just saw that. It must have fallen from Mia's hand, what could it be? Let's look at it, find out. Gasp. The word is written in blood on this scrap of paper. Maya. Did Mia write this? This piece of paper is a receipt from a department store. Dated yesterday. Receipt added to the court record. A department store receipt with the letters with letters written in blood on the back. I think that's enough snooping around for now. I'd better call the police. Find out what that girl was doing here. You can't infer that that's Maya, dude. That's Maya, dude. It's encrusted with dried blood. How ironic that this became. Th yeah, I know, right? God damn. You didn't check the chief? Let's see. Looks like she was hit with the head with the blunt album. Probably died instantly. Okay. See, it didn't give me that check mark the first time, so. So I'm sorry to fly. Oh, he's basically just saying what's there. Now I have to examine each one. I get it, I get it, I get it. I get it! Some shards of glass are scattered on the floor. They seem to be the remains of a glass nightstand. Light stand. The window, maybe? Please? There's a large building right across from the office. The Gate Water Hotel. Watergate? Please stop. A nice luxurious place. What else is there to examine, dude? My bad. The Chief's chair. A simple functional design. Feels pretty good to sit in, too. Why are you- I won't- I won't 
question you, Phoenix. You're the attorney here, I'm just a player. What else is there to examine? I wish they would give you like a checklist or something. Oh shit, okay. Uh -huh. I did not know that. The Fay and Company ledger book. Everything is written in the Chief's ultra neat handwriting. It's a small office, but it makes a good bit of money. The phone, maybe? Right, I'd better call the police. That's funny. A few of the screws on the receiver are missing. It looks like someone was halfway through taking taking it apart. Police? Please come quick. What, what was that? Someone screaming from outside the window. Jesus Christ! Who are you? She's staring right at me. Oh shit! Bro, she's gonna think that I did it. God damn it. I have to plug in my phone. Hold on. <laughs> this is heat. This is heat. Check the computer. Surprisingly, the chief was never good with machines. About all she used this PC was for email. Dude, this is just like my parents. She picked up this ancient model at some garage sale for practically nothing. Good deal. Good deal. Put a graphics card in there, you got a gaming PC. All the chief's important documents are packed in here. This is where she filed her case records and recent, recent rulings. I cannot talk. Is that it? I better check everything I can before the police come in here and arrest my ass. Perfectly normal office desk. The chief had a very particular policy about office decor. Spend big on the stuff clients use, but keep your own stuff simple. Kinda don't get high on your own supply type shit, I respect that. I- shit, alright. I, I mean, I guess that's it. I don't know. Is it? Hold on. Oh yeah, I gotta call the- That girl just now. Where'd she go? I gotta go to the bathroom again, dude. God damn it. But shitting... Non-stop. That girl just now. Where'd she go? I put her right there on that sofa. Oh, this sofa? Fudge. Uh-oh. I hope she didn't run on me. Yipes! Shut up. Don't scare me like that. Please don't scare me like that. I, I get scared easily. Please don't scare me like that. Um... Excuse me, but who are you? It's okay. I work here. Maya! Maya Faye! Maya? Faye? Maya. So Mia was writing this girl's name. Maybe I should show her the receipt? I never thought there'd be a use for evidence like this outside the courtroom. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, he wants to, so let's get it. I would have been dead if he had said, like, take that! Before Mia died, she wrote a message with her own blood. She wrote it on the back of this receipt. Big shit. That, that, that's my name! Why? Why would she write my name? Please. Or, please, just calm down. Why would... This write my name! Oh, now I've done it. God damn it, dude. The police. Sounds like they're coming this way. Sounds like they're here. Bro. Who are you? Detective Dick Gumshoe. What kind of voice are you gonna have? All right, I'm Detective Dick Gumshoe, see? Gumshoe? What an odd name. We received a report from the building across the way, see? You got a person saying they saw a murder? Must have been that woman. Jesus. Anyway, I don't want either of you moving one inch, okay? <laughs> he breathes at me. Great. 
Oops, great. Maya. Wait, she wouldn't have... Ah. Whoa! Excuse me. <laughs> this word Maya here mean anything to you? Um, that... that's my name. What? The victim drew this here note in her own blood, see? With her dying breath, she wrote down the kill. Oh god. I didn't get a chance to see what she said. I thought I could... I hate when they do that. They auto-skip some text. I gotta pay attention. Case closed. You're coming down to the precinct, ma'am. What? This is not good, bro. This is not good. Mia's younger sister, Maya, was arrested on the spot. I guess that makes sense, but like... God damn it, now I have to prove her innocent. I was taken in for questioning and didn't get out until the next morning. God, Jesus. My eyes were heavy, but I couldn't sleep. I sat around waiting for visiting hours to begin at the detention center. I had to talk to Maya as soon as possible. That cop back there looked like AJ from The Walking Dead. Wow, they have poor Maya locked up in like a criminal. In her clothes. Oh, it's you, the lawyer. Good, good morning. Good morning. She looks so tired. Um, are you going to be my attorney? Well, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. <laughs> Sorry, not a chance. Uh, shit, of course I will. I mean, me as the player knows for a fact that she didn't do it. Uh, me as the player also knows that they're sisters, shit. And Phoenix doesn't know this yet, but I know it. So, hell yeah, I'm gonna be your attorney. First things first, I better get her cheered up. Yeah, of course I will. Cheer up. Really? Whoa, did I say the wrong thing? She looks sadder now. Um, what... what's wrong? You don't think I can do it? <laughs> Bitch. No, no one could. Who would believe me? Even you. When you found me in the office, you looked at me like I hadn't done it. Had, had, had done it. Did I look at her like that? No, no, I never thought... It, it's okay. I understand. <laughs> and I've also heard about... Oh, you see, now we're happy. And I've also heard about you. Heard? Heard what about me? I was talking to my sister on the phone the other day. Now we get to find out that they were siblings. Today was my first junior partner's time in court. Oh, they're talking on the phone, okay. Wow, really? How'd that go? It was quite the scene. Honestly, I was on the edge the whole time. It's been a while. Huh? So he crashed and burned? He's a genius. One of those strike fear into the hearts of evil types. The only thing he's lacking is experience. Hello. Oh, sounds like it was fun. Well, I know who to go to if I ever get into trouble now. Let's go. Oh. I don't know, Maya. I think you might want to wait. Give him three more years. Jesus Christ. That is, unless you want to be found guilty. What the f- Who was she now? See, I don't- I can't even trust her now. She's talking shit about me? To her sister? I cannot have that. That's what she said. Yeah, even Phoenix is like that bitch, dude. Like, I knew it. She was talking trash behind my back. The chief? Chief, bro. I- I'm sorry! I didn't mean to insult you. No, it's- it's okay, it's true. I'm, I'm trash. I won that first trial off, uh, luck. But, at the same time, I can't just sit by and watch. I'm gonna think of the person who did this to Mia. I... no. Uh... I 
I can examine. This guard monitors the visitors. He hasn't moved an inch. Real pro, this guy. I got security cameras. Smile for the camera. She could break out of here. Uh... Yeah, just talk. Okay. There's something I've been wanting to ask you. Yes? What's with that outfit? Oh, this? This is what all acolytes wear. It's my uniform, you could say. <laughs> acolytes? Like people in religious training? What is it you do? Oh, it's nothing strange, really. I'm a spirit medium in training. A spirit medium? I'm pretty sure that qualifies as strange. Could you tell me about the day of the murder? Yes. Let's see. That morning, I got a call from my sister. She wanted me to hold on to a piece of evidence for an upcoming trial. Evidence? Yes. That clock shaped like the thinker. The one Larry made. How could you... Wait, how could that have been evidence in a case? Um, right. She said something about that. I remember. Do you want to hear it in her own voice? Her... her own voice? Yes. I'm pretty sure our conversation is on my cell phone. That's right, it was recorded. You recorded it. Yeah, I forget how to delete those things. Yeah, you must have so... like, not so much space on your phone. <laughs> Spirit medium is really good. So you're an acolyte, a uh, medium in training? That's right. The Fae family, especially the women, have always been very sensitive to the spirit world. Wait a second. You said the Fae family? So Mia was into this stuff too? Of course. She left the mountain to follow her career, she said. Her powers were first class too. I had no idea. Wait. What? So, you're a real, honest-to-goodness spirit medium, with ESP and all that. Yes, in training. Well, can't you contact me as spirit, then? Oh my gosh, bro. Why are we going down this road? You can just ask her who killed her. I... Oh, I'm sorry. I'm still in training. I couldn't do something on that level. Hmm. I thought that would be too easy. Alright, cell phone. So you say you have a conversation with your sister on your cell phone? Let's hear it. Right. Oh, I just remembered the detective took my cell phone. Sorry. Oh, right. Of course. God damn it. Like, they just, they just let her hold on to her cell phone in the detention center, of course. Next time I see Detective Gumshoe, I'll ask him for it. I'll write you a note so you don't forget, okay? Sure. Thanks. Conversation I had with my sister is recorded on my cell phone. Okay, that's important. That's super important. I gotta remember all this... I was about to say bullshit. Um... Huh? Something the matter? Um... I was wondering... Could I ask you a favor? This is the address of a famous lawyer. My sister gave me this a long time ago. She said if I was ever in trouble, I should call him. And, well, I'm in trouble. <laughs> Do you think you could go to ask him to represent me? Bit of I'm here talking to you. Hmm. Okay. So, Mia told her to call them if they're ever in trouble, and they trusted each other. Like, Mia wasn't, like, doing anything behind Maya's back, Maya wasn't doing anything behind her back. They were tight, they were sisters, they called each other and shit. So, just because I want to represent her, and I'm just here talking to her, I'm not allowed to be selfish. So, yeah, fine. I'll accept. Sure, why not? I'll go ask. Thank you so much. I have no one else to turn- Okay, see, the, okay, now I'm upset. I'm right here. I'm helping you. Thank you. Like, say, what about your parents? 
I, I, I'm sorry. Yeah. Just leave it. Thank you. The trial's tomorrow at 10. Jesus Christ. What? what? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, already? Tomorrow. What if this guy refuses? He told me that if I don't find one, the state will pick an attorney to defend me. She, she's so... When will that happen? They're giving me until four this afternoon. Your visiting hours are almost up. I'd better hurry. Jesus Christ, bro. Right, I'll be right back. Why is this not checked off? Did you tell me about the day of the murder? Sorry, I know it must be hard. No, it's okay. All I've been doing the last few hours is talking about it. I've kind of gotten used to it. Let's see. That morning, I got a call from my sister. She wanted me to hold on to a piece of evidence for an upcoming trial. It's the thinker clock that Larry made. She practically qualifies as a serial murderer by now. <laughs> so then, what did you, when did you arrive at the office? It was right around nine. The lights were off and I could smell blood. The, then I found her. My sister. Dead. Thanks, Maya. Okay, so she got there at 9. That's all I need to hear from her. Cool, 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 cool. Okay. So we need to go talk to Grossberg Law Offices. Let's get it. September 6th, Grossberg Law Offices. According to the receptionist, the big boss is out. Solid snake. She couldn't say when he'd be back. It must be hard to keep track of everything when you're a famous lawyer. Not to mention run an office like this. I guess I'll just have to come back later. Examine his office. Where'd the music go? A solid mahogany desk. The wood's been polished to a deep luster. There is no music? This is kind of eerie. A table for clients. Hmm. An elegant ebony case. And if I'm not mistaken, that lighter's been made of solid gold. This dude got big bank. Even I can tell someone here's got money to burn. Dude, he shreds money for fun. The painting has been bugging me ever since I stepped in here. The oil paint is so thick it's practically giving me a stuffed nose. <laughs> I'm sure the price is nothing to sneeze at either, for that matter. Yeah, absolutely. You gotta imagine everything in here is worth big money. Expensive looking mahogany bookshelves filled with expensive looking books. Hmm. Funny. They don't look like they've ever been read. Just for show, always. Go back to the law office company. Oh, uh, will the officer be here? Hopefully. Yes, cool. Or the detective, rather. They're all busily searching for clues. Hey, you there! This is a crime scene, pal. No trespassing. Um, sorry. Do I know- don't I know you from somewhere? Wait, you're that butts guy, aren't you? No, no, Phoenix Wright. How could anyone mistake me for Larry? Ah, guess I got the wrong name, Mr. Wright. Sorry about that. That butts guy, he was a killer. And you're no killer, right? I don't like this dude already. He was proven innocent. By yours truly. So trash. Um... Right, you were Detective Gumshoe. Um, Gumshoe? Was it Dick Gumshoe? Right, at your service. Hang on! That's Detective Gumshoe to you, pal. Anyway, get the name right. Don't go calling me Dick. Hey, Dick! Get over here! D yes sir! <laughs> oh, he answers other people. But, be right there! Um, <clears throat> you're her lawyer, right, pal? If you got business here, you'd better do it quick. Whew, he thinks I'm Maya's lawyer. Uh-huh. Can I talk to him? About Miss Faye, did you have an autopsy? Hmm. You want to know the results, huh? We're eh. Now don't go look at me like that, pal. It's no use. She might have been your boss, but... That doesn't mean you get any special treatment. Alright, alright. You can see the report, but that's all. This is- okay. The time of death was at nine! Just like Maya said she arrived. Death was instantaneous. 
Holy shit. Um, about Maya. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the trial. Sorry, pal, but this is one trial you aren't going to win. What, why do you say that? The city's put Prosecutor Edgeworth on the prosecution. Edgeworth. I'm sure you know what that means. You're being a lawyer and all. Prosecutor Edgeworth. That's right, pal. Mr. Miles Edgeworth himself. Wait, you do know him, don't you? Uh, of course I I know him. He's a, fe he's a feared prosecutor. He doesn't feel pain. He doesn't feel remorse. He won't stop until he gets his guilty verdict. Aw, uh, don't talk about him that way. You make him barely sound human. Still, I'm afraid this pretty much decides the case. So, Edgeworth is on this one. He hasn't lost a case since he became a prosecutor at the incredibly young age of 20. Jesus Christ. Of course, there are rumors of back alley deals and forged evidence. Dang. I swear to God, if this dude is the dude that killed Mia, it's on. It is on. All I know for sure is that Edgeworth hates crime with an almost abnormal passion. I never imagined I'd be facing him so soon. This is the second trial. Alright. Let's slide. Mia's desk. Perfectly clean as always. The one and only thing that's missing is... Mia. Look out the window. The sky is blue and so am I. There's that hotel right across the way. Mia's favorite potted plant. I remember I had this bizarre no name. Bizarre name no one could remember. Cordy Line Stricta, pal. Who was that? An old movie poster. Apparently, this was the first movie that made Mia cry when she saw it. I'll have to check it out one of these days. Damn. I cannot believe Mia's dead, bro. There's a horrendous amount of legal books here. Scarier still that Mia probably read all of these. Is that it? Really? Can't give me like a checklist? Probably not. Um. I mean, I already checked everything here, right? The dude's still not back though? Uh. Talk to, talk to Maya, I guess. Hey! What is it? Did you meet the lawyer? Sorry. I haven't seen him yet. I see. Hmm. I better go see if I can find this elite lawyer she's talking about. <laughs> Talk to your family. What about your family? I only have my sister. My father died when I was very young. And I don't know where my mother is. Oh no. So she could still be alive. Let's press her about her mom. The women in my family have been mediums for generations. They say a lot of spiritual power runs in our blood. But 15 years ago, our family was involved in a... an incident. There was a man, and he... he... he ruined our mother's life. Ruined? After that, she disappeared. Several years after that, my sister announced she would become a lawyer and left the mountain. So, you live by yourself? Yes, I've gotten used to it. Oh, also, I had to become independent, or I would lose my powers. I feel bad for her. All by herself up on that mountain? God damn, bro. So, who is this man who, um, ruined your mother? About 15 years ago, there was an unusual murder case. It made quite a stir. Everyone was talking about it, apparently. The police were running out of leads and they were getting desperate. Wait, they didn't use a spirit medium, did they? Or they didn't use a spirit medium, did they? The police convinced my mother to try to contact the victim. Wow, so what happened? The case was solved, we thought. You thought? You thought? The man my mother helped the police capture was innocent. Oh shit. 
Lisa's consultation with the medium had all been carried out in secret, of course. But a man found out about it and leaked it to the press. He told all the papers that my mother was a fraud, and the media jumped on it big time. She... My mother became the laughingstock of the nation. I see. White? Excuse me? White? That was his name. My sister told me. Ooh, what were the, what were the uh, uh, letters? Red, blue, white? White. Hmm. At... Uh, bro, go to the Grossberg Law Offices. Is he here or what? God... <sighs> bro. Talk, uh... Should I give him this? Or this. No, he gave that to me. Okay. I was wondering, did you see Maya Faye's cell phone? Oh, that? I have that. Do you think you could give it back? Sure! I mean, wait a second, pal. Tricky lawyer! Uh-oh. He's on to me. Uh... Tell him straight, bro. Come on, we don't want to be lying to detectives. If I tell him why I want it, there's no way he'll give it to me. Something the matter? Oh, no, it's just, you know, detective. Nope. I know nothing, pal. That cell phone has a lot of numbers on it, like your boyfriend's. The cell phone holds all a little girl's sweetest and spiciest secret. Oh, that's me. A cell phone holds all a little girl's sweetest and spiciest secret. Okay, that doesn't sound any worse. Any better. Or, you're, you're trying to confuse me. Sorry, pal. I already checked all the numbers in memory. Impressive. You're quite the detective. Uh, huh. Uh, here, you can have the phone. There weren't any suspicious call records in there after all. Seems he didn't notice the recorded conversation. Well, it's a conversation between the Chief and Maya. Okay, cool, 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 cool. I will do that right now. What's up? You haven't called in a while. Actually, there's something I wanted to do for you at this time. Uh, tell you the time you're practically... Tell you the clock is in target right now. Sorry, I just cracked the clock or go. Dumb pal, I'm... Um, yes. Thank you. I'll be heading out now. Oh, wait. One more thing I wanted to mention to you. I don't suppose you're planning on talking to that witness. Anyway, you'd better not. No influencing the witness with your lawyerly ways, pal. Will do, sir. Oh, the witness! Come to think of it, I had completely forgotten about her. Where is she? The... witness. Yeah. Miss April May. Jesus. Ever since Saw Wit, I'm... I'm paying attention to these names. I'm sorry about this, but I can't tell you anything about her. Well, you just told me her name, Miss May, right? Dumbass. So you sent her home already, then? <laughs> You're trying to trick me with your lawyerly tricks on me, you stupid lawyer. She's not to go outside her room until the trial. So, so she's still in the hotel room across the way. I guess I should know better than to try and get a detective to leak information. You got that right, pal. Time to pay a visit. Or, time to pay a visit to Miss May. Right. Dumbass. Oh, damn. What is that in the drawer over there? What is that? What are you... you look like you're in middle school. Ugh, I really should have looked at what she was saying before I said that. My bad. All these girls are about to have the same voice, alright? I, I can't do different high-pitched voices like that. 
Well, hello there, handsome. Um, hi. Smooth, right? Real smooth. Please, dude, how old is she? We need to get that straight first. You're the lawyer, aren't you? The detective told me. He said, don't say nothing to that lawyer, pal. Tee-hee. Memo to self, thank Detective Gumshoe for making my job harder. Gee, this is all like something out of the movie. Okay, she's gonna have that kind of like, um, type voice. It's all so exciting, I can hardly contain myself. Oh, let me go fresh it up so I can look the part of the beautiful eyewitness. I pity the lawyer that has to cross-examine this one. It's gonna be you. Examine the shit. What is that? There's a screwdriver stuck in the drawer that maybe was used to try and get the screws off the phone thing. I wonder what's inside. Let's take a look. Hey, 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 hey! Okay, put your eyes away like that. What are you doing? No touching! Oh, bad boy. I can't say this shit, bro. You, you really shouldn't pry around in other people's rooms now. You wouldn't want to make me upset, would you? Upset? I thought she was going to explode for a second there. I wonder what could be inside the drawer. Uh, talk to her. Do you think you could tell me something? I need you to describe to me what you observed at the time of the incident. Oh, observe? Incident? You sound just like a lawyer in the movies. I like a man with a big vocabulary. Um. Better not occur here. Uh, you know that occurred, um, hap happened the other day, the bad thing? Hello? What did you see when it happened? I don't suppose you could tell me about it. Pretty please. Oh, Christ. Let me see. Um, well, dream on. If you want to know, you'll have to come to court tomorrow, Mr. Lawyer. Oh, boy. Um, could you just... Exactly who are you? Oh, Mr. Lawyer, are you hitting on me? But no, hey, I'm, I'm just doing my job. Please don't give me a hard time. Like, I'm not even that a, a, a attractive to you. Hee <laughs> you know you're cute when you blush. Believe me, this is the first time in my life I've blushed this much. Um, <laughs> <coughs> Right, can you please just tell me what happened? Like, stop wasting my time. Well, no! <laughs> you had your little hopes up, didn't you? Oh boy. I see there are two glasses on the table. Is there someone staying with you? Oh, what an amazing powers of observation! You must be one of those famous detectives like on television! Oh no, not me. I'm just... I'm just a lawyer. Can you please stop messing around and help me out. I'm. This is like life or death for my client here, please. Say, Mr. Big Detective, why don't you go look for clues in the garbage, hmm? Miss May doesn't like noisy little lawyers, hmm? Oh boy. F uh, can I present anything to her? How about present her with this shit? Make her victim number three. Late summer sunlight streams through the window. There's the Fay and Company Law Office's building, of course. You can see the inside of the room pretty clearly from here. I think it would be a little difficult to recognize a face from this distance, though. God damn it. The bottle and two glasses are on the table. Somebody must be staying with her. Flowers are fake, as expected. There's some flowers and tulips, but that's about the extent of my floral knowledge. Same. And dandelions. A little bit. Ah, a still-seen painting. Wait, 
Should that be still life? Whatever. One of those is hanging on the wall. Okay. A simple bed. It's been recently made. Nothing eye catching here. Look at that screwdriver again. I don't care what she says. Maybe later. Maybe later. What? Like before the trial or something? Can I talk to her about anything else? No. Alright. Uh, where to now? Is this dude finally here? Ahem! If that wasn't the most over-the-top clearing of the throat I've ever heard. Just because this dude looks a little like Mario, he's gonna have an Italian accent. Aha! So you're the one they said has been looking for me. Uh, yes, that's me. He looks even grander than I imagined. Hmm? That's a badge on your collar. I don't even know what accent this is, I'm just going with it. Ah, so you're a lawyer, are you now? Y yes well, yes. And what do you want? Not particular. I'm not particularly busy these days. Please proceed. Not busy. Then how come no one could get in touch with you? Hmm? Something the matter? You came to see the one and only Marvin Grossberg, did you not? Well, here I am, boy. What do you want? Out with it. I'm kind of starting to sound like fucking. I don't even know what accent I want to do for this guy anymore. Um, what? Well, sir, actually, it's about Maya, Maya Faye. Hmm? Ah, yes, Maya Faye. Go on. Oh, if he's grand, he's about to have the, um... The kind of... Yes. The kind of, like, more uptight version of the prosecutor from the last one, who sounded like this. This dude's about to have this voice. Acha-cha. I'm really quite busy here, son. I can't go taking cases on a day's notice. No, it's quite impossible. W wait a second. How did you know the trial was tomorrow? Uh, <clears throat> uh, anyway, I'm afraid it's entirely impossible for me to represent her. Sorry. End of discussion. What's going on? He refused me before I even got a chance to ask him. What do I tell Maya? Bitch, talk to me. How can you just refuse like that? Please, tell me why you won't take the case. Hmm? <clears throat> well, you see, it's just... I'm busy, you see. But the client is... But the client is Mia Faye's sister. <clears throat> Mia trusted you. She knew her sister would be in good hands. Yes, yes, of course, I know that. However, I'm sorry, but I must refuse. Sorry, goodbye. Creep. Fine. I don't have time to argue with you anyway. I'll go look somewhere else. Rumble. Think not. Huh? Did you say something? I think not, I said. W what do you mean? I'm terribly, terribly sorry. But I'm afraid that no lawyer worth their salt will take on this particular case. Terribly sorry, my boy. Why? I, I cannot say. Bro. I beg your pardon, but could you leave now? I have nothing more to discuss with you. What is going on here? You are going to talk to me, sir. How did you know Mia Fey? She worked here a long time ago. Quite the apprentice, that one. Learned my techniques in the blink of an eye. She left one day, quite suddenly. She had a mission, you see. A mission? You could see it in her eyes. She followed it with a burning passion. Never looked back, that one. That's quite a painting. Ha <laughs> ha, you notice. It's my pride and joy. Impressive, isn't it? Well, isn't it? 
The color of the sky, the hue of the sea, the weave of the straw hat. It's worth at least three million. I have no intention of parting with it, of course. No, I won't sell it. Not even to you. I wasn't interested, you... It's not for sale. I'm not buying. <laughs> Phoenix came back and hit him with the same energy, like, I'm not buying. I can't examine anything more, there's nothing new here. Okay. F um, 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 uh. Fuck, there's no, um... Okay, well, I guess I'm going back to Maya shit. September 6th, 342. Detention center, visiting room. Shit ends at 4, right? Hiya. Oh, you're back! Did you find the lawyer? Um, well, what do I tell him? Well, or, well, see, just be honest. I, I really don't think you should use that guy. He didn't seem healthy. He was all skin and bones. What are you laying... What really happened? You don't mean he refused to help? Uh... I see. I've been abandoned then. Just a little longer now before the state-appointed lawyer comes, I guess. 4 p.m. Time's up. Damn, that 18 minutes went by in 18 seconds, brother. What should I do? Do I just leave her and go home? Defend Maya? We are going to help her out. I really hope I didn't just screw up right now. I've made up my mind. I'm going to defend you whether or not you want me to. Why? Why? Well... Ooh. Hold on. This sounds more like... Kinda aiding to her. Her personal needs. This one's legitimately true because she didn't do it. And this one's just kind of like, I, I don't know. Um, because someone else is the culprit. She didn't do it. Or maybe she did. No, because the other guy did it. No. You aren't the culprit. Someone else is. How, how do you know? I, I, I have a hunch. Given the evidence, it would be easy to assume that Maya was the killer. But there's something about this whole thing that smells... <laughs> Fishy. That witness's strange behavior. Is that all an act? And the way that lawyer refused to help out Maya. But more than all that, she has no one left to help her. Nothing is more sad or more lonely than that. I know. I've been there. A long, long time ago. Whoa, what was that? Why did I become a lawyer in the first place? Because someone has to look out for the people who have no one on their side. I'm gonna be up for another two hours doing this shit. Maya, I won't abandon you. You can count on me. That's so kind of you. Okay. Phoenix Wright. Just turn the tables. Well, let's fight this one and get you out of here. Right! Thank you! Whew. She smiled at last. She looks like an entirely different person. One last question. You are innocent, right? Yes! And I trust you. So you can trust me too, okay? It's a deal. So, what next? There's something that's been bugging me. Just what was inside that strange woman's drawer. It was then, it was when I tried to look into the drawer that she got all defensive. There has to be something in there. Uh-huh, move. Go back to the hotel. Who are you? There are too many damn people here. Good afternoon, sir. Excuse me, you are... 
Ah, uh, I beg your pardon, sir. I am the bellboy of this establishment, at your service, sir. Oh, right. I've just come up to deliver room service, sir. Um, do you know where Miss May might be? Ah, uh, I believe our guest, Miss May, is currently using the, uh, facilities. If you've no need of anything, I'll be taking my leave. Please, stay as long as you like. Enjoy. Yeah. Thanks. Wait, no, hey! Why does it seem like every time I come here, I end up embarrassing myself? Wait, now's my chance to super- yeah, that's it. Ah, I almost forgot. Yeah, you- you came back quick. Might I ask you to inform Miss May that there is a message for her? Please tell her that Mr. White of Blue Corp phoned. Who was Mr. White again? White. Maya said that that's the name of the murderer. Mr. White of Blue Corp. Oh, right. Sure. Mr. White of Blue Corp. Where have I heard that name? White. That was his name. My sister told me. Holy fuck. White was the name of the guy who Oh, no, it was that guy. God damn it, there are too many names here, dude. You know? Could it be a coincidence? Examine. Go, 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 go. There's a screwdriver sticking out of that heaven. Oh, that's my chance. What do we have here? A wire tap? What would a woman like her be doing with the, 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 the thing? Found in Miss May's hotel room. There's definitely something suspicious about this Miss May. Why would she have, why would she have something like this in her hotel room? There's a story behind all this, I know. But I'll be using this bit of evidence in tomorrow's trial, that's for sure. For Maya's sake. I'll get to this woman's bottom. Wait, I mean, you... You know what I mean. Oh, bellboy. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, bellboy. Still there? Uh oh, time to scream. I look forward to Tan going with you tomorrow, Miss May. In court. Okay, these are about to be two separate videos. Jesus Christ. Yeah, to be continued. Yes, I would like to say. God damn, I did not think that. Oh, I guess days. Jesus Christ. Okay, so I'm about to play the trial right now, but good lord. Like this this all of a sudden took a complete like left, right, another left, two rights, one more left, and then straight. Like this game I thought was just about to be all like Okay, yes, there's murder. But, like, the names are funny. I didn't think our chief, Mia, was gonna die. Are you serious? I thought she was gonna be by our side for the whole game. That's so trash. Gosh, I'm about to find out who did it, though. Mr. White? He's going down. I did not think episodes would be split into two videos. I was gonna have an Ace Attorney video every Friday. What I guess I can do is upload both parts... The same day, maybe? I think I'll do that. Just that way, an entire episode is out in a day. And if you want to watch one video, you can. And then save the next one for the next, I guess. I don't know. Uh, but currently, as of recording, I do still have the Infamous and Uncharted series to finish. And I'm still doing those as much as I can. So, if you want to see me continue this or any of those series. Or you like the video, please consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, if you watch the whole video to get here, please consider leaving a thumbs up, down, comment, share, whatever you want. And thank you for watching.